Well, I'm going to work on my shield. I haven't felt really good all day, but it's a uh, quarter to ten right now, and I feel really good right now compared to what I was earlier. And I'm anxious to get started on this darn thing. So, I think what I'm going to do is do a tighter stitch, uh, like uh, Michael Badhand uh, suggested. And uh, so, I am going to uh, get my tools and uh, get ready to do that. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is make a uh, tool. And I'm making it out of the end of a paintbrush I've used for uh, putting uh, uh, lighter fluid on my uh, clays. And uh, I'm going to make, hopefully, a uh, stitch, a quality type of stitch type thing on it. There we go. I just wanted to get a flat cut on the end of this tool. And now I'm just going to carve a little bit of a curve. Or try to. So that it looks like a stitch. I'm going to keep a small edge of the uh, layer I put down before, except now I'm just going to take out the big heavy folds. Now I know it seems like I'm putting a lot of effort into just a shield. But if you're going to do something, why not do it accurately? Or as accurate as you can be with the limited knowledge you may have. I think I'm going to redraw my pattern on the front. So I'm just going to take that out right now. I'm just going to clean up the edge a little bit on the uh, cover. I could use a compass to do that, but then it would look too even, and uh, it's supposed to be a handmade item, and nothing's ever perfect. Unless it's made by a machine. And I don't want this to look like it was made by a machine. There we go. That's good, that cleans up the edge nicely. I know the rag looks terrible, but the clay don't mind. Alright. Okay, for the uh, drawing of the design, I'm going to use one of Ken's tools. I know you can't see the loop. Let me see if I can get it in the camera. The loop is very small. On both ends and uh, I'm going to use that to uh, carve lines into uh, this uh, shield now somebody earlier said that this looked like a uh, wolf but it's this gentleman's interpretation of a bear and uh, it is not a wolf now he's putting a hump on the bear and the bear is coming out of a cave <coughs> which is represented by a circle
Okay. That's the drawing. And uh, I think I'll stick with that. Now let's work on the other side. I have a little cup with some lighter fluid in. And uh, so that the uh, stick won't st stick to the clay. Have a, an example of a shield. The back of the shield, where the uh, wrinkles aren't all that long. You see between each one of these. We do a couple of them, and I'll show you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to turn off the camera and get to work on it. Between each stitch, there'd be a puckered area. Uh, I'll get another tool here and let's see. Of uh, material. Being careful not to uh, damage the uh, stitch, I blend pucker into the uh, leather or the clay. If you're sculpting leather you got to think leather so that's why I say in the leather. Sculpting metal you think, think metal. Now what I'll do is I'll come back in with my exacto knife and uh, and cut the pucker even with the edge of the uh, cover so it looks more like a pucker I think you can see what I'm talking about right there all right I'm gonna turn off the camera come back all right, I've applied all the wrinkles or puffs or puckered leather. Now I'm cutting off the part that goes over the edge. Actually, kind of looks pretty good. If I mar up the inside, I'll go back and uh, clean it up with a, a wire tool. All right, I'm going to turn off the camera now and uh, get that part done. Just uh, taking out the sharp edges of the uh, wrinkles. Very time consuming. I'm only doing one side right now. I've got the other side to do yet, so... The attention to detail that people like. If you're going to do details, you got to do it. And you just got to have patience. Which I got a ton of. Don't think I'll be getting to the straps tonight. These little ball tools are really handy. I got this from uh, SculptureDepot.net. All right, now I start on the other side. Going back this way. Now, we'll start right there. 